remember to always change your locks when you buy a new house. This incident occurred back in 2013. I was 17 at the time. My family was considering purchasing a house, and during our visit, the owner, an older man who had built the house himself, came to chat with my parents. The house was a lovely two-story building overlooking a river. While observing their conversation, I noticed something unsettling. The owner's demeanor changed dramatically when he wasn't facing my parents. His smile twisted into a sinister, hateful scowl, though he quickly resumed his cheerful facade as he turned back. It was a chilling moment that I couldn't shake off. Fast forward, and we ended up buying the house. One Sunday, not long after moving in, my family left for church, leaving me home alone. Around 11 a.m., I heard loud, rhythmic banging from the side of the house. Initially, I brushed it off as the wind. It was a stormy day. However, moments later, I heard noises inside the house. Chairs moving, kitchen cabinets, and the fridge being opened. Fearing an intruder, I locked my bedroom door, grabbed a baseball bat, and called 911. As I texted my mom about the situation, the 911 operator informed me that help was about 10 minutes away. Meanwhile, my mom, who was half an hour away, texted back that she was rushing home. I was terrified knowing that if the intruder entered my room, I'd be overpowered. The intruder approached my door, tried the handle, found it locked, and stood there for what felt like an eternity. Then, he retreated. After he left and the police arrived, they found no signs of forced entry. However, the freshly vacuumed hallway had large shoe prints leading up to my room prints that matched no one in our family. The man who sold us the house passed away a year later. But this experience was a stark reminder of the importance of changing your locks when moving into a new home. <laughs>